People will often ask me, gee, why has Ben & Jerry's been so successful? I always say the ingredients are great, the flavors are really great, and the company has a real connection to the community. And that is the secret sauce. It's not about saying the words, it's about doing the, doing the work. I think as a practical matter, looking at where your biggest impacts are is how you can start to integrate those concerns into your business. Benninger has realized that its hugest impact was through ingredients. So the company uses fair trade commodities. The company uses non-GMO ingredients. By consciously deciding what bank we were going to use, we could benefit a bank that was uh, investing in inner city areas. We set up uh, some franchised ice cream shops that were owned by nonprofits that were working with at-risk youth. All those things, they made money for Ben and & Jerry's and they solved social problems uh, at the same time. You have to prioritize it the same way you prioritize everything else. The employees are the people that embody and execute the, the mission of the company. The key is really having people who are motivated by the mission, who share those same values. You have to actually care. If you think you should be doing it because it's going to be good for your business, don't bother. For so many businesses, they think it's expected, right? It's a, it's a box you have to check. And I think if it's a box you have to check, it doesn't work. Well said.